Hello viewers, my name is Zakios Akiadeo, the pastor in charge of MCCSW, World of Faith Chapel, Abuja, Nigeria. I welcome you to World in Season, the program designed for your life transformation. Remember the Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reproof, rebook, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Today's topic is the power in the name of Jesus part three. The power in the name of Jesus part three. We've spoken about the name of Jesus part one. Last week we talked about the part two. That is what the name of Jesus, what the, what name symbolizes. And today we're going to be looking at the power in the name of Jesus part three. I will look at what the name of Jesus can do in your life. What the name, remember the name of Jesus have been prophesied over 500 years, even before Jesus was born. In Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. The book of Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel and shall call his name Emmanuel. Now I want you to compare this Isaiah 7 14 to Matthew chapter 1, verse 21 to 23. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21 to 23. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the law by the prophet. It was referring to Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God is with us. God is with us. The name has been prophesied over 500 years, even before Jesus was given back to. I'm going to be telling you seven things that the name of Jesus can do. Seven things, at least seven things that the name of Jesus can do. Number one, number one, what the name of Jesus can do. You will receive salvation by the name. You will receive salvation by the name of Jesus, act of the apostle, chapter 4, verse 12. Act of the apostle, chapter 4, verse 12 says, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven, given among men, whereby we must be saved. There is no other name that can give you salvation except the name of Jesus. That's what the act of the apostle 4, 12 was saying. And again, Romans chapter 9. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. Romans chapter 10, Verse 9 and 10 say that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And verse 10 say, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So you have salvation by believing in the name of Jesus. That's why Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 says, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 says, in whom? We have redemption through his blood. We have redemption through his blood. The forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grave. You can't be saved without passing through Jesus. So the name of Jesus gives you salvation. That's why Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says, Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is dead, but the gift of God is eternal life. Through who? Through Jesus Christ our Lord. We have eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We have eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So, you will see salvation by the name of Jesus. Number two, what the name of Jesus can do. Number two, the devil and his demon bow when they hear the name. The devil and his demon bow when they hear the name. When they hear the name. There is no name that make the devil to be fighting than the name of Jesus. In Luke chapter 10, verse 17 to 18. Luke 10, 17 to 18. And the 17 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devil are subject unto us through thy name. Even the devil are subject to us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. The devil sub subjected itself to the disciple, because they call the name of Jesus. Because they call the name of Jesus. That's why Mark 16, 17 says, 
Mark chapter 16, verse 17 says, And these signs shall follow them that believe. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out devil. In my name, shall they cast out devils. And they shall speak with new tongues. So it means that you use the name of Jesus to cast out devil. The devil bow at the name of Jesus. That's why the song that we used to sing that his name is Aya. Than every other name, his name is Jesus, his name is Lord, his name is Aya. Above all that name, his name is Jesus, his name is Lord. The devil and his demo bow when they hear the name of Jesus. Number three, number three, what the name of Jesus can do. The name of Jesus gives you power and authority. The name gives you power and authority. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Luke 10, 19 said that he has given us a name that is above every other name. He has given us power to tread upon serpent, upon scorpion, upon all the powers of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemies hurt us. Nothing shall by enemies hurt us. That's what the name of Jesus can do. And in Matthew 16, 19, Matthew, Matthew chapter 16, verse 19, he says, And I will give unto thee the king of the key of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. That's with the name. He said, with the name you can bind anything. With the name you can lose anything. The name gives you power and authority. That's why Matthew 18 verse 18 says, Matthew 18 verse 18 says, Verily I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. With the name of Jesus. You can bind anything. Acts chapter 1 verse 18. Say thou shalt receive power. Thou shalt receive power. After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Act of the Apostle chapter 1 verse 8. But ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me. Both in Jerusalem and in all Judea. In Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. You have power and authority. When you use the name of Jesus. But you can't use the name of Jesus without belonging to Jesus. For you to have authority and power, for the devil and demon to bow to you, and for you to have salvation, you must use the name of Jesus. And for you to use the name of Jesus, you must be born again. You must belong to Jesus. So if you want to be born again, this afternoon, say after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for saving me. I believe in my heart, and I confess with my mouth that you came and you die for me. And on the third day, you rose again from the dead. Come into my life today. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Now you are born again. If you say that prayer, you can connect to us and communicate to us through the number that is being displayed on the screen and through the address that you can see on the screen so that you can continue to grow in Jesus. I decree that as you have been transferred and transformed from the power of darkness into a new kingdom, which is the kingdom of Jesus, no devil will be able to harm you again in the name of Jesus. You are forever secured. The Bible said that if the Son shall set you free, you are free indeed. I declare your freedom now. You are free permanently from the hand of the devil in the name of Jesus. No affliction will be able to come close to you by the authority in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Thank you for joining us again today. See you next week. God bless you.